Very, very simple this year. My name is Dean Essler. I'm the Director of Operations and a partner. Dean Stewart's running uh, all the audio and sound for us. And our other partner, George, we don't know where he is right now, but he's usually putting windows in us. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, right off the bat, we're going to actually put on a video display of uh, what's going to happen previous and what's going to happen this year for XFest. So if you want to watch it, go through it all. Uh, I have mentioned a few of the other media that are here today that uh, if you've got some generic questions after that you don't mind sharing with the rest of the media, fine, shoot them out and we'll answer them. Uh, but Dean and I are available after for specific questions if you want on a one on one. So. But, anyways, enjoy. Two years ago, it defied all odds. They said that Brandon couldn't hold such an event, but they were wrong. Selling out two years in a row to thousands of hardcore rockers, bringing outdoor extreme sports to Brandon for the first time. Two days of amazing music with 14 bands featuring Buck Cherry, Pepperwick, and Default. The event even pulling in the West End Tourism Award for the best new event. In the end, a huge success. X-Fest pushing the boundaries for bigger, better, and louder. And they did just that. X-Fest 2, filling the place once again. 18 bands, even more extreme sports, thousands more fans, raising and donating thousands of dollars for West Man Dreams for Kids and other charities in our community, and overall smashing any record previously set from 2007. So, Fury of a Dead Man, Puddle of Blood, Finger Eleven, Three Doors Down. But what's next? In store for 2009? What bands? What events? It wasn't even coming back. Westman, sat in suspense, long enough. 18 bands, two days, 7,500 rockers, and again, another solid lineup. Saskatoon's metal quartet, Chain Fire. Winnipeg's Aero Car Model 4, Red Sea, Seventh Sin, The Knot, and Crisis Games. Hometown Heroes, from the Heat City, Up and Comers, Affecting Cars, Making Gravy, and local favorites, 18 Rabbit, West Coast Rockers, Southern Death Set, The Lacey, and Favor Drive, Ontario's Flatline, and Fifi Dobson, from Alberta, Social Codes. Halifax Power Pop Blues Sloan, presenting this year's headliners, capping off an already exciting weekend from Massachusetts, hard rock outfit, Rev Theory, along with Canadian alternative rockers, selling more than 5 million albums worldwide, Our Lady Peace. This year, X-Fest brings your summer to the extreme, August 7th and 8th, Turtle Crossing Camp Land. Tickets on sale Monday, May 25th at noon. Only available at xfestrocks.com. $99 for the first 2,000 sold, $129 thereafter. Purchase your tickets online and have a chance to win the X-Fest 3 2009 Toyota Corolla Sport from Precision Toyota. X-Fest 3, extreme, exciting, exactly what you've been waiting for. X-Fest 3, brought to you by Howling United Way Productions, Boston Pizza, J and M Windows and Doors, Rogers Communications, Molson Canadian Rocks, Coors Light Trauma Tour. Wow, what do you think? <laughs> yeah! Woo! Woo! It's been a long time coming, trust me. Uh, this is new for us, uh, taking over on the uh, talent buying. Uh, also, I think a lot to do with this year, uh, the recession in the U.S. has kind of affected uh, a lot of people. But we plugged and we plugged and we went, and uh, sure enough, we're able to uh, uh, secure these bands. I do have to give you one disclaimer right now. Sloan is still not signed. It was supposed to be done as of this morning. If not, we have two others that are really good names behind it, but let's just leave that as tentative. I'm pretty sure we'll get them. Uh, but once again, excellent lineup. I am, I am pumped. I mean, from Red Theory, I don't know if you've seen any of their YouTube or any of their uh, latest uh, hits. They are awesome. Um, all the way down to uh, uh, Fifi Dobson was an option thrown in, and I just think, you know, her Bad Bad Boyfriend single is just, it's hot. It's going to be great. So we mixed it up this year. Um, coming back to our old favorites, I mean, OLP, not enough said right there. They've got such good catalog that uh, uh, they're going to put on a great show. Um, at this point in time, I guess I'm open for any questions. None? Good video, Pete. That was great. That was great, yeah. 
I would like to say one thing. Uh, uh, what we did have to do this year, and uh, uh, to put it out there, is we have formed a new company. I shouldn't say a company, it's called a nonprofit. Uh, it's Westman Entertainment Group Incorporated. They're the ones that are now directing and running XFest uh, due to some technicalities and especially the amount of copious amounts of alcohol that were consumed. Uh, <laughs> Definitely had to go that route. So uh, it does lead into uh, a lot of the charities that are involved. Once again, we have West Van Dream for Kids. Uh, we have Career Connections. We have uh, um, Elizabeth, Reed. Uh, Elizabeth Reed, Elizabeth Reed, sorry, uh, Resource Center. And uh, we are working with the uh, Senate group on the uh, uh, State Board. Uh, they just talked to them yesterday. Love to try to raise some funds for those kids as well. Uh, we think it's a worthy project. So. Uh, uh, that's where we formed our uh, nonprofit group, so it just facilitates things and makes things a lot easier. That's it. <laughs> and still no questions. Wow. That's a really good video. <sighs> yes, I can confirm with that. Uh, that's a lot of the work. As of December last year, trust me, what went into this is is behind the scenes, and, and we do have to thank a lot of our partners and, and uh, you know, my executive assistant, uh, Alicia, Jamie Monroe is doing our sales. Without all that, we couldn't have done where we're at. Ticketmaster had some issues, <laughs> nicest way to put it in the media, so it was perfect timing. We were a little worried uh, moving away from Ticketmaster to the company that we use. We've uh, secured a company called Vendini. Uh, when you go to our website before, I should say two years ago, last two years, you went to our website, then you had to go on another site, Ticketmaster, to try and buy your tickets, and another site to go book your camping, and on and on and on. People wanted it simpler. Now you go to xfestrocks.com, buy tickets now, a little window pops up, four steps, and you have your tickets. Print it out, they're e-tickets right on your uh, printer at home. We have computerized scanners for everyone's tickets coming in. It is slick, it works really well. So, Yes, we have moved away from Ticketmaster, and hence to uh, up a little bit. We have a brand new 2009 Corolla sitting out there, and anybody that uh, buys their tickets online is automatically entered. And uh, it's not a lease, it's their car, or they take $15,000 cash. Yes, Camping? Camping? Yeah, camping is a through Yes, uh, Joan and Mark Kovach, once again, will be taking care of camping. Uh, they were going to integrate with our site, but it gets very, very technical in the camping side and everyone's specific needs, so they did request. You can get the details and the map and all that on our site, but you still have to contact them direct. I will make one more, I guess, disclaimer. Uh, there was a few issues last year when it came to uh, ticket sales and people on site. This year, uh, and I hope this is reported, that no one gets on site without a ticket. You can get your camping pass for all you want, but you will not get on site without the XFest ticket. Nobody on that site should be on that site unless they're there to watch the actual bands. We had a few little issues last year. Mark and Joan are, are uh, uh, comfortable with this, so uh, everyone right at the very front of uh, Turtle Crossing uh, will be banned at that point in time with a ticket. So, uh, uh, and then from there they go through the camping sequence. With that. So, yes? Parking, uh, similar to last year, we do have our VIP inside this year uh, where the FMX was last year, the uh, extreme uh, motocross guys. They are coming right inside, right in the bowl where we were last year uh, in the licensed area. So that opened up that area for the, uh, the vendors as well as VIP. The other uh, parking will be across the road and that's where we're talking with the uh, Senate and the Skateboard Committee uh, of running golf carts and all the parking will be over there and just give them rides back and forth. Because I do believe there was up to 2,000 cars park right across the road. So we will be using buses? Yeah, no, uh, buses, we've already got that sponsored. We'll be running buses at the end of the day. Uh, they will be coming back into town just like last year. Any other questions? That was really good. <laughs> made my job easy. All right, uh, we are available for specific questions if you want right after this. Uh, also, there's some food and drinks you guys are more than welcome to enjoy. And, uh, wow, we're really looking forward to this. We're pumped uh, getting to this day. It's almost going to be a letdown because we've been nonstop for a month straight. Uh, it's uh, incredible what it takes to pull this stuff together. So it opened up my eyes. Thank you very much.